My name is Barbara Colton. I'm not a rabbi. I'm a lay member of Congregation Anche Chesed here in New York, and I support Rabbis for Human Rights passionately. I was present four years ago at the first conference of Rabbis for Human Rights when Rabbi Asherman told the story of the Dari family whose home had been demolished more than once. And when Rabbi Asherman lost his kippah in the rubble of the demolition and felt that alone with his lost kippah were his lost Jewish values that he had been brought up with as a child. Today, we heard the very moving story from Rabbi Lippmann about walking down a street in Hebron where there was a barrier, one side for Jews, the other side for Arabs. I am passionate about Rabbis for Human Rights because we have been there and we have an obligation to stand up before the world and say it is wrong to deprive other people of the same rights that we demand for ourselves. Our rabbis have taught us that if we see an injustice and remain silent, we are committing murder. We learn that the other is, has to be a part of our own lives. We learn that we were slaves in Egypt, not our fathers, not our grandfathers, not our ancestors, but I, I was a slave in Egypt. And therefore, I have an obligation as a Jew to make sure and to do everything I can that nobody else should ever suffer what we have suffered in the past. And I believe that Rabbis for Human Rights is one of, unfortunately, too few organizations that are doing this sacred work to give voice to those people who have no voice. And in many instances, their lack of voice is perpetrated by our own people. This is a sin. And I think the work that Rabbis for Human Rights does to turn this all around is sacred work, it's holy work, and it must be supported by everyone who thinks of himself or herself as a committed Jew.